House, and I'm told by a source familiar with Yates' testimony that she'll actually be limited on what she can say about why she did have those concerns that Michael Flynn could have been, in her words, compromised by the Russians. But her testimony is bound to raise new questions about why the White House didn't act sooner to remove him from the job once those concerns were raised. Now, at the same time, investigators on the House and Senate Intelligence Committees say their investigations into Russia could slip well into the fall, if not next year, with one lawmaker telling me the amount of documents they are going through are taller than he is at five foot ten. Congressional investigators looking into Russia's role in the 2016 elections, running into a range of new challenges ahead of today's high profile testimony from former acting attorney general Sally Yates and former director of national intelligence James Clapper. We will ask her all questions about Russia, what she knew about Trump ties, uh, was any administration effort to unmask people for political purposes. We're going to get to all things uh, uh, Russia in terms of what the administration did and, and, and what Russia did. Multiple lawmakers in both the House and Senate stressing that the committees still have mountains of documents to sift through. But we're continuing to go through documents from multiple agencies. We're continuing to go through witnesses. This will take several months to be able to finish it out. Cautioning that the probes could drag into the fall and even next year. Further complicating the inquiries, uncertainty over the leads the committees are chasing and ongoing partisan disagreement over potential collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia. I'm not sure that uh, there's any reason for the president to believe that there was collusion between his campaign. A great cause for concern, uh, evidence of collusion. And from Donald Trump, we have, seen, we have seen someone who continues to try and obstruct an investigation. Lawmakers struggling with the key question, whether the meetings between Trump associates and Russians were related to the campaign, or whether they were simply efforts by the Trump advisors to gain new business for their companies. These questions coming amid a new effort to get information from at least four of Trump's former associates, including former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort and former campaign foreign policy advisor Carter Page. I've been researching... Page flatly rejecting the Senate about. Intelligence Committee's request to provide records of his communications with Russians, saying in an unusual letter that if the committee wants details, they'll need to ask former President Obama because of surveillance that occurred during his administration. When Carter Page says he wants to basically uh, be cooperating and then all of a sudden we get uh, another uh, message, that's not the way to conduct a thorough investigation. This fight coming as Yates is expected to tell lawmakers today that she gave the Trump administration a forceful warning about hiring former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. Testimony at odds with the White House's account. The acting attorney general informed the White House counsel that they wanted to give, quote,